this is my wife Kimberly. Uh, we ride this tandem bicycle together and she's the stoker and I'm the captain and we really like our bicycle. We ended up starting into tandem bicycle riding about five years ago and it's been a lot of fun because uh, you know it was really hard to ride together because we had different capabilities. And so we started riding tandems together and we've been doing that for about five years and we probably go I don't know, you know, 500 miles at least every year, and we really enjoy it. So Not just, at once, in little increments. Yes, yes, we like to go on rides together, usually 25 to 30 miles, and upwards, our longest ride has been 75 miles, and we really enjoyed that. So this is our bike. We ended up getting a commotion bicycle, and we really like this one. It's just super smooth. I mean, of all the bikes that I've ever um, ridden in the past, uh, this one has super smooth shifting. It just rides so comfortably. Uh, we really enjoy it. And we saw this on the classified ads and we bought it for $1,200. Okay, so now you had a chance to see our bicycle. Uh, we love our bicycle, but it's not perfect. Uh, one of the things that I find about it is it's an older bicycle and it doesn't have the new disc brakes and it doesn't have a super good climbing gear which means that we're kind of limited sometimes when we hit some some of the steeper hills uh, I'm afraid to go down them and it's too difficult to go up them so between the two things you know we're always in the market looking you know for our next bike uh, which kind of leads us into the cost so our first bike we got into for just uh, twelve hundred dollars uh, this came from a couple that uh, found out that tandem cycling wasn't their uh, cup of tea and they said that you know it either make or break your marriage and so we gave it a try. Uh, the bicycles that we're looking at or I'm looking at is uh, about a $9,000 bike and it has all the all the goodies, more, uh, more climbing, better braking and stuff and faster. Can I just say that we never would have known that we needed those things unless we tried one out. And so we're not encouraging you to go out and spend $9,000 on your tandem bike. There are bikes out there um, at classifieds, on the classifieds that uh, people are getting rid of. They've upgraded and so they have this older one or whatever. They've tried it and they don't want to do it anymore. And so we encourage you to just get one for a reasonable price and try it out because it's a lot of fun. And you might be able to go to a bike shop and, and just ask, if you can't just ride the a tandem bicycle for a couple of miles and see what you think, um, usually they they work with you. They want to help, uh, you know, further the sport anyway. Um, one of the big things that you'll find when you do tandem bicycling, it was kind of a comment that the couple made, is that you have to work together. You have to like to work together, and you have it's kind of be difficult at times. So there are kind of different roles that you you follow when you're on a bicycle, on a tandem bicycle. The guy in front or the guy or gal is the captain and the person in the back is called the stoker. Um, I have been riding in the front. Uh, I have a lot of experience, you know, riding bikes and stuff like that. So uh, my goal is to keep us from cat crashing and and I, Kimberly's goal is to provide his power and energy as we go along as the stoker. Uh, we've developed a series of commands that we do. Um, I found out early on when we started riding that you can't say, uh, I think we should slow down or anything like that. It just comes across wrong. It comes across as being critical as opposed to being something we need to do and we need to do it now. So little simple commands like uh, on three, which means that we're going to push off three times with our right foot and then we're going to start pedaling. Uh, we use this every time we start. And then uh, left foot down means put your left foot down and then I'll say right foot out and that tells us that we're coming to a stop so we know to put our right foot out together. It's critical that you do it this way. You both have to come off on the same side or you're going to find yourself tipping over. And for us, we're clipped into our pedals and so it makes a big difference to, to know what each other is thinking. So we've developed our own commands to do that.